Hello tennis guys and welcome to my channel. In today's video I will be reviewing these tennis balls from Technifiber, the Technifiber club ball. So stay tuned. I don't know what can happen in the future but I'm gonna keep fighting uh, to try to keep going. So many thanks. Thank you very much everyone. Thank you. So the Technifiber club ball is the second best ball from Technifiber. The best balls from Technifiber are the X1 tennis balls and they are, guys, they are top notch. One of the best tennis balls in the world. Even, even maybe the best tennis ball in the world. But these club balls are on the second place and they are engineered and manufactured by Bridgestone Technifiber as with the X1 tennis ball. So Technifiber has their own uh, factory and they are really focused on the quality mainly and these club balls are made of the premium Millikan felt and it contains 65% of natural felt, which is a lot if you consider that uh, many other, let's say, also club level tennis balls, we don't even know the percentage of the natural felt used for the balls, but usually it is lower than 65%. So compared to the X1 tennis ball, the X1 tennis ball is made of 72% of natural felt, which is one of the highest numbers in the tennis balls, uh, uh, let's say, industry. So if we look at these balls, they are obviously ITF approved. So you can play, you can use these tennis balls for a tournament play. And if we look at the technologies, they're made with the dynamic core and premium woven felt. As I told you, it's the Millikan felt. It's the, really the, the best of the best. And according to the chart of the benefits, uh, it is long lasting. It has four points out of five points and from the speed perspective it has five points from five points so this is a speedy ball and guys i've tested these balls in two sessions in two sessions and this is how they look after two and a half hours of play so my first session was a club match a club league I played against I believe he is a 17 years 17 years old uh, guy boy and he plays a really good tennis I lost to this guy but it was really even and we had some really nice and long rallies and we played in a windy condition so this match took one and a half hours and you will see some footage of the match in this video and after the match these balls rested like one week in the can and then i took them for a practice and the practice was one hour long i also waited these balls i waited these balls when they were new and the question for you i did ask you the question in my first review of tennis balls when i reviewed the head coach pro tennis ball if you didn't see that video just click somewhere here and look at the review so the tf club ball so when they were new i measured the weight and the question is do you know how much does a tennis ball or should a tennis ball weight according to itf itf the international tennis federation so so the balls that can be used uh, on a tournament they must meet certain criteria to be uh, allowed to use on a, in a tournament, an official tournament. So the weight, the official weight for a tennis ball should be between 56 
and 59.4 gram and when I measured these balls when they were new they were around 57 58 56.8 56.6 mm -hmm. grams so they are kind of light and that's why mm -hmm. they are fast so after the first session, after the first match, I measured the weight once again and it was 57.4, 56.6, 56.6 and 56.2. One of the balls was on the limit after one and a half hours. And after the next session, uh, together two and a half hours of play, I measured the weight once again and the balls were on the limit 56.27 56.24 55.78 so one of the balls was dead it was out of the criteria so uh, let's say for a tournament play it wasn't uh, it would not be allowed to play further with this ball and the last ball uh, weight was 57 Point one. So overall, these balls, even when they are new, they are on the lighter side. So they are really fast. Uh, they fly through the air really fast. And I felt like in the match, when we played the first 15 minutes, we didn't have control of the ball. The, the balls were flying all over the place. And... Uh, it was windy, so it was really hard to keep them in the court. But as we played with the balls more and more, and the felt got, let's say, bigger and bigger. Because when are the balls new, the felt on the ball is, is kind of smooth. So that's why the balls are so fast. But after you hit uh, with them like... 15 20 half an hour so the felt goes like my hair like this and yeah you do this with the felt and then the ball starts to work the ball starts to uh, uh, let's say uh, the string starts to uh, spin the ball because when the ball is new it's it's smooth and the ball is too fast so the, the, best, uh, uh, the best playability with these balls was around, I would say, 30 to 1 hour. So the balls played the best. Maybe 1 hour. After 1 hour, we really felt like the balls kind of broke in. They well, bro they well broke in. And the rubber, the felt, starts to work. So between, let's say, 45 minutes and one hour the balls work the best and i think that for the whole match for the one and a half hours the balls were really good to play with so after the week when i took them from the can and i didn't play with them during the week the balls were whew, jumping really low much lower than in the first session they were really slow and that's why with tennis balls guys you need to play with tennis balls you just can't hit them once then put them in a can and take them another week and play with them another match because they won't work the rubber is start is starting to uh, how it is called oxidite oxidite and that's why the rubber uh, doesn't work that well the pressure start that the ball starts to losing the the pressure and yeah the best way how to play with uh, four balls with a can of four balls is to use them like two times in a week and for two session in in a one week and then you can you can give them to to some coaches or you can give them to your dogs so <clears throat> what is my final conclusion for these balls so these balls reminds me a little bit of the wilson us open i'm used to so we play in the czech republic with wilson us open extra 
duty and these balls are i would say on the same quality on the same level of also of the playability so they feel light they are fast and when they break in they jump they jump nicely the bounce is nice i wouldn't say the bounce is uh, super high but maybe it is higher than with some other balls and these balls i think they are really also good for a tournament play so if you don't want to pay uh, extra money for let's say the head tour tennis ball or for some premium Dunlop tennis balls these balls from Technifiber the tennis uh, the Technifiber club ball is a really good uh, overall tennis ball for club level advanced tennis level of play and they don't cost too much so you can get the four ball can for let's say seven euros seven euros 20 cents seven euros 50 cents so that's about how much it is us dollars eight nine us dollars american dollars so uh i would say this is a really good overall ball no one uh w will be disappointed with this ball so guys if you don't want if you don't know which ball you should buy just try the technifiber club ball it's really good overall over all around tennis ball it can be used for all court types yeah for premium pressurized tennis balls for all court types and as i said it uses 65 percent of premium millican felt which is really which is really good so engineered manufactured by bridgestone technifiber so guys this was my review for the technifiber club ball they also have other balls the cheaper the court balls i will review some other time personally i love to play with these club balls and when i practice with some other people or when i coach other people amateurs i use the even the cheaper ball the court ball but i play with let's say 70 balls uh, in my basket so guys let me know in the comments what do you think did you hit sometimes did you hit uh, did you ever hit with the technifiber ball do you know these balls do you know technifiber x1 balls because they are crazy good they are crazy good and the durability of the x1 tennis ball is just out of this world so guys let me know in the comments what do you like what what kind of tennis ball do you play with and as usual if you like this review if you like this video just click the thumbs up yeah if you didn't click the thumbs down of course you can but it's better to leave me a comment why you click thumbs up or why you click click thumbs down i would like to know your opinion and as always if you want to support my channel just buy me a coffee the link is below in the description and as usually enjoy tennis play tennis every time every day and i will catch you in my next video bye guys Doufám, že to tam bude vidět. You can't be serious, man. You cannot be serious. That ball was on the line.